this powerful book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. The 31st verse. That first verse was read earlier. I will read several of these verses. And the Lord's word says, The days are surely coming, says the Lord. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, it will not be like the covenant I had made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. A covenant that they broke. Though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law within them and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. This morning I'd like to use as a subject, as a topic of brief discussion, your contracts renewed. In this powerful book, we find that the Lord is solidifying His promise, His agreement, His covenant, His contract, for lack of a better word. In this powerful word from God, we find God preparing, that He is preparing for His people a new contract, a new covenant. The old covenant had been broken. Though the Lord had been a good God to his people, he had taken them out of slavery, he had taken them out of bondage, he had been a husband to them. And yet they began to turn their backs on the Lord. They began to worship pagan gods. Their behavior was permeated with sin and self-destruction. Golden calves and perversions of all types. Under the old covenant, they would be his people and have no other gods before him. This is why they roamed in the wilderness for 40 years. And this is why they as a people were not able to get themselves up because they had turned from the word of God. They had broken the contract or agreement that God had made with them. And when you break a contract, an agreement with God. God will turn his back on you as you have turned your back on the Lord. Can I get one in here? This is why they suffered bondage. Because they failed to honor the contract, the, the agreement they had with the Lord. And this is why in America today, we have not all that we could be. Because we have not all honored our contract with the Lord. I may preach this every time. I may say this every time I preach. But we have taken God out of our schools. Yeah. We have taken God out of our government. We have taken God out of our communities. And as a result, we are continuing in a downward slide in America and around the world. Because we've taken God out. Look around what's going on in our schools. Teachers are afraid to go to class. Because the schools are bombarded with ill behavior. Look what's happening in our government because we're taking God out. And until we bring God back, this country will continue 
but to show me how. And I have worked out a tooth for a tooth, both for me and our century free. Rabbi Obama, Rabbi. the 
tents and the killings, the riches of killings. It's kind of hard to forgive and it's even harder to forget. But God says in His Word today that I will forgive your iniquity. I will throw your sins in a sea of forgetfulness. We ought to give Him some praise this morning. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful for forgiveness. If you're a child of God, I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you've done. Your contract's been renewed. The good news is this morning, my brothers and sisters, is that this contract can never be broken. This contract can never be broken. It can never be voided. It can never be destroyed. This contract is a guarantee because it's made with the stripes and the blood of our Lord Savior, Jesus Christ. You are meant to praise this morning. This contract cannot be voided because he laid up there Sisters, you have blessings upon blessings for the Lord. 